one of Wow Bill's favorite movies of 2018. <laughs> and we're going to talk about the Clint Eastwood directed and starred in The Mule. And it's uh as well, hasn't done one in a while. The last one was Grant Trango. That was yep. a few years ago. And it's supposed to be, this is supposed to be his last one. His very well, last that one. one was supposed to be his last one. Grant Torino was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then they pulled him back in. <laughs> Just which, when he thought he was again, out. He thought he was out of him back in. <laughs> which is a huge benefit to us. Because mm-hmm. holy cow, that was really good. Mm-hmm. And he plays a, not a, an, well, a curmudgeon like he did in the other curmudgeon. Right. Like he did in the other one. He still was an old guy. Right. He was kind of, you know, does his old way things and mm-hmm. has old way language yes um but not a bad guy actually really mm. kind of a yeah. nice guy very gregarious yeah. and very friendly and nice yeah mm-hmm. it, the movie's based off of the a real scenario but mm-hmm. it's not exactly the same it's not a biography right so it's right. not a true true story but it's based off of true events mm-hmm. um more or less i mean like some of it was fleshed out because they didn't know the specifics mm-hmm. of a lot of it but um wow i like i said in terms of our top you know picks for last mm-hmm. year Doggone, if Eastwood doesn't make a darn good movie. <laughs> he I mean, does. It was he long, does. Mm-hmm. and it was a simple story. Mm-hmm. There was no explosions. Was There There was no explosions. No. There was um, not no real gunfire. I think it was like a one gun scene thing. There was no, like, shoot em up stuff. No. It wasn't an action movie. This nope. was a drama, dramedy mm-hmm. kind of thing, because there was some drama. Mm-hmm. It was uh, not, like, dramatic drama, but there was some of that. Mm-hmm. Um it wasn't a comedy, but there was some comedy. Right. Um, right. So, and it was no horror. It was no like murders and things. Exactly. Oh, there was, there was a, like a, it was one death, I think. Wow. The, the actors were really good. Yes. Um, My, yes. Michael Pena, I think. His Michael name Pena. Yeah. yeah. See, he was like, I was trying to get him pulled up yeah, yeah, because yeah. I was actually genuinely surprised mm-hmm. with his performance right. because it, it, we, we've seen Michael Pena in plenty of comedies. Right. You know, he's, he's um, really easy with the comedy. Yes. Which is great. Yeah. And he and didn't quite, he did a little bit in this, but he was more serious in this. Exa- yeah. They like, he was a, he had, you know, funny lines and he stuff did. like that, but way toned down. Yes. Way toned down. They knew how to rein him mm-hmm. in, yep. you know, like they knew it just like, okay, we know this is a uh, more of a comedic actor. Mm-hmm. Let's just make his, you know, let's have this character. Let's just have him be more comedic, but still mm-hmm. grounded. You know, right. just like regular people are still talking. You know, so it's like there's not he's not super quippy or anything right. like that, or you know, being doing his silly Luis thing like he does with Ant Man. Like yeah, he's, he's uh, like a fast talking. Yeah, you know, kind of yeah. like in the like seventies, shucking and jiving kind of thing. Yeah, like you know. he he is like you would buy him. As an FBI, uh, was he FBI or CIA? Uh, DEA. DEA. Drug, drug, okay. Drug yeah. Drug. So, all right. So, yeah, you you would buy him as a DEA agent. I was like, you definitely buy him. Same thing mm-hmm. with uh, Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. Yeah. Obviously, oh, he, he usually always does well. Yeah. Um, even in like movies that are bad, mm-hmm. I will. I can always kind of say like, well, he was good in it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> um, he was good. Um, like I said, Brad, I said Michael Pena. It's a, Definitely surprised me. I didn't even Definitely. know he was in the movie. Right, up until right. <laughs> well, it's funny you saw him. You're like, he looks familiar. Who is that guy? And he went, is that Michael Pena? Yeah. Like, oh you know, because yeah. he wasn't going, you know, hey, he went, yeah. no, he was like, and he say something funny, mm-hmm. but it was low. I mean, really, really low key, mm-hmm. but it was funny. You're like, oh, that's funny. Mm-hmm. But not like, oh, it's funny, you know? Yes. Um, yeah. So definitely not over the top. Definitely stayed. He didn't break out of that scene in terms of like break the scene, you know, mm-hmm. not like break the fourth wall, but right out of context. You're like, What's right. Like no, no, it's totally, I believe it, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. And it's I think like, cause we're both ex military guys. So mm-hmm. it's kind of like that. He threw that military humor type in there. Yeah. He'll say something and that guy's like, Oh yeah, I get that. Doesn't matter mm-hmm. what branch of service you serve. You're like, true. Oh, yeah, I get that. True. You know, but it's, it's funny in that way. Mm-hmm. And I, not overtly funny. Right. Right. And I think that's, I honestly just think that's a real testament to, um, to uh, Clint Eastwood as a as a director, because a lot of people say about Clint Eastwood, it was just like because he's acted in so many you know spaghetti westerns as you called them and everything, yeah, yeah. Uh, because he's acted and stuff like that, he's a real good actor's director. He knows how to work. He knows it? how he to knows, work with the actors. He knows how to rein them in. He knows how mm-hmm. to let them go. Yes, Ryan Johnson. Okay, so <laughs> I mean, he knows how how to you know. Well, of course, he's been around. Yes, since the what. 50s, 60s? Yeah, he's I mean, he's you know, he was in the spaghetti westerns. Yeah. I think he did Rawhide back mm-hmm. in the 60s, I think mm-hmm. it was. So, yeah, he's got a lot. I mean, dude, he worked with Sergio uh, 
Lagones is, is that right? Sergio Lagones? I don't remember. Uh, the, the you know, uh, some of the Western movies he did. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. Um, so yeah, so you know he's you know pff, wow. So he sung out with some big names and he's learned a lot. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, definitely, definitely. The, uh, and he puts it to good use. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was there anything bad that you didn't like about this movie? There were a couple of things that I don't think they were like, but they were minor. <laughs> Yes, very they minor. Major, like, oh, that whole right, thing didn't work. right. It was like there, very minor. There's, uh, there's something that goes on with the cartel that's mm-hmm. just sudden. Yeah. It's a sudden thing that yeah, goes yeah. on. Um, and it was, I think they were trying to explain why things were different. Because if mm-hmm. you know the story, this guy has been, you know, he was a drug mule for the uh, Mexican like a big, cartel. Yeah, like a big Mexican yeah. cartel running cocaine. So, like I said, most of the cartel members, like at least mm-hmm. the ones in the vicinity, kind of warmed up to him and everything. Yep. Even like the uh, the leader, I guess, of that particular area mm-hmm. or that region or whatever had kind of warmed up to him and everything like that. Was, oh, Eventually. Cool, of course, he was man. like, what are you doing all this stuff? Yeah. And, and then, then, then we watched him and he goes, this old guy knows how to live life. Yeah. <laughs> because my life sucks. Yeah. He's like, oh, my life is crap. <laughs> and this old guy really figures it out. Yeah. Know? So so he had, um, eventually there's a change in the cartels, a changing of hands, a violent change of hands. But it just comes so sudden yeah. because you don't spend, you you spend most, most of all your time with the uh, the character that Clintus was playing. What's his name? I'm sorry. <laughs> the, I, don't, uh, uh, I think his name is Walt, but yeah, he's the real, character, real person named Leo, I think. Yeah. But, uh, uh, I, think I know the real person's name. No, no, but Walt, sorry, Walt was from, uh, you're, you're going to dig me online about this. Okay. I believe Walt was from um, Grand Torino. Okay. Um, but I'll pull it up real quick. Okay. Um, but but and, the real yeah. character's name was, was Leo. Right. Uh, the real man, mm-hmm. uh, from my understanding. So... Um, but yeah, I just uh, there was a sudden change because you don't spend a lot of time with the cartel, right? So when it happens, you're kind of like, okay, this is out of nowhere yeah. or something. Which you it, the story in terms of like the storytelling, like cinematic wise, I don't know if this actually happened in in the real life story or anything. It may have, but because it, you know, you are doing a dramatization of it, you could have done this another way to where that was it so jarring. And it kind yeah. of just flowed into it because there's a time where like the uh, the DEA is really is really you know starting to be on their tail now. Mm-hmm. So we could be like, hey, look, we need to start cracking down. No, we need to get serious about this. No more going off of you know going off getting yourself some sandwiches. That, that right, look, right, right. no, you go from point A to point B and back. Period. <laughs> That's it. You know, um, but because main I guess for added was, uh, Clint Eastwood's main character's name was Earl. Okay, Earl. Well, okay. Earl told us it's an old guy's name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, it was just that was one of the things I was like, okay, that was a little jarring. You probably didn't have to execute it that way, and you right. could have still accomplished the same thing. Learn like, okay, hey, yeah, things things are getting tough now. Mm-hmm. You know, um, uh, because before they like they didn't they cared, and then they started to not care so much because it was like, well, if he's stopping to get food and stuff like that i'm just like well that's people stop to get food people stop to go to the bathroom you know right. he's socializing with people i'm just like well people do that if he's just going from point a to point b and he's just like you know he's looking suspicious yes. you know like so he was less predictable yep. in in the and, and, you know. and well he was he, did, he wasn't predictable in their eyes and they hated that right but the fact that he was so good at it mm-hmm. they kind of excused a lot of it because right. well he's you know because like the main the main cartel guy was like let him do. Let him do yeah. that. Because yeah. you know why? He's re- working really well, and he's mm-hmm. not doing unpredictable bad things mm-hmm. to where he's going to get caught. He's mm-hmm. actually unpredictable in a good way. Right. He's picking up things, and so that way, you know, when he when he pull over, I have all these pecans for my my daughter, who's yeah. a horrible baker, or whatever. He makes up stories, but mm-hmm. he's got all this like stuff in his truck. You yeah. don't just have like the drugs. Exactly. You go, oh, what's that? Oh, uh, it's nothing. You know, it's like exactly. a, bunch of, a bunch of bags or something. <laughs> yeah. And you it, get like. Stuff in there. You got potatoes. You got pecans. You got stuff. And he yeah. stops and he he goes. This is the best barbecue place around here. Yeah, I know, right? And they're eating it. And the guy's like, "Whoa, this actually really is pretty good." You're like, "Wow." And then you know, so he hangs out. And so then, yeah. You know, so when know. like the uh, there's a cha- like I said, there's a change of hands in, in leadership mm-hmm. and stuff. It's a violent change of hands, and um, it just kind of comes out of nowhere. So I was kind of like, "All right, you didn't really have to do this this way." I don't know if they said, "Don't know if this actually happened," but because this is a dramatization <laughs> and you're doing it for the sake of the film. Then I would probably have just been like, all right, hey, uh, the, the DEA is ca- cracking down on us right now. Look, we can't have you going off doing what you want to do anymore. You right. know, we got to get we got to get serious with this stuff now and everything. So, um, but I think that was just to establish more attention that comes about when he is dealing with his family stuff. So it kind of makes him. But I think that would have happened anyway. 
Even though, like, you know, like when they're going after him and they're looking for him because he disappears because something really bad happens with his, you know, his family. Right. So he goes to take care of that mm-hmm. while he's on the clock for the cartel. So, like, they're, yep. they're kind of after him right now. But I think that would have happened anyway if he, mm-hmm. you know, regardless of whether there was a change of hands or not. So I'm just mm-hmm. like, it's still the cartel. Right. So I'm like, yeah, they might be friendly with them. They're still not 100% his friends, you know. Right. They still have a chain of command. They still have like stuff they have to do. So right. you can't just disappear with, you know, with X shit. amount of kilos <laughs> with of with cocaine. Their shit and their stuff, with their yeah. Product. yeah, you can't just disappear mm-hmm. for like, I don't know, what was it? Three some weeks or something like that. It was a couple. Yeah, it was a couple of weeks. Yeah. So yeah. D- except for that one little, like, one little hiccup well, there in that line. In the la- in the last line. The last yeah, line. The last line. I agree. That was kind of like okay. It was a it was a joke in a sense, yeah. but I'm just kind of like uh, timing. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. <and> I'm like, <laughs> you know, like other than yeah. but but majorly bad. No. 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 Those not at all. Those are really minor. Yeah, what I really really love about this movie is like the main character mm-hmm. is not a perfect person. Nope. He's a nice person, yep. but mm-hmm. he is not a perfect person. No. Um, I love how like he's just he's he wants what a lot of other people want he's just like he gets this um this this agulation and everything from from people but mm-hmm. he's but not, not from his family but not necessarily because from his family because while he was out doing that mm-hmm. he's, he's neglecting, neglecting them. his family now exactly. he's providing for them yes he's gay i mean he had money his daughter went to college mm-hmm. the whole thing you know mm-hmm. but then in the movie he didn't go to his daughter's wedding mm-hmm. and this whole thing and they, they were uh, the wife and them divorced. They were strange. Mm-hmm. He kept trying to connect with his, his ex wife, but she, man, boom. And then the, the mm-hmm. daughter, and like you said, there was a one moment where the daughter was like, was really just being over dramatic. Yes. And I'm like, yes. I get that. But at the same time, man, I've known people like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So we know people like definitely. that. So we're like, yeah. whoa, I don't want to be in the same room with you. Right. I mean, there are people that's real. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so that kind of worked. And it's mm-hmm. interesting because the girl plays his daughter is his real daughter. Which is kind oh. of interesting. I didn't realize that. I, I didn't know I that. Like, oh, wow. Okay. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> okay. Now, I liked, and this is kind of, you know, we talked about just briefly, the look of the film. Oh, yes. Like every shot was beautiful. Yes. The humor mm-hmm. was good. It wasn't right. over the top, but and it was perfect in mm-hmm. terms of the, the character interactions. The characters were great. The cast was great. Right. The interaction between the characters was really interesting because they were real. Right, exactly. It was real. The interaction was, was wonderful. The storyline was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I did appreciate... Uh, there was a song, uh, an old, I think, 60s song, mm-hmm. I Love You More Today Than Yesterday. Yeah. Very cheesy. But he turned that cheesy song and, and line into really touching when his wife was, you know, oh yeah, going through cancer and stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was like, I was like, okay, that's a really, because unlike, say, in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 with the Brandy song, I'm like, yeah. oh God, because I can't even listen to that Brandy song anymore. <laughs> I, used to, I, used to, I used to like that song. Mm-hmm. I, can't, I can't listen to it anymore because of yeah. the Guardians 2. I'm like, no. Yeah. They... But in the motion, the emotion was real. I think the emotion was really, really real. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you, they really. And I, I personally, again, I'm speaking for myself personally, yeah. um, I kind of felt for the character, the main character. Oh yeah, you definitely Because I was do. like, and and this is, I think this is what makes movies really good. You're like, okay, he's a World War II decorated World War II veteran. Mm-hmm. They talked about that. He gave money to the VFW. He's trying to, you know, keep that group of people and uh-huh. community going, and trying to give jobs to Hispanic Mexican people. Yeah. Even after he lost his farm and everything, mm-hmm. to help, yeah. you know poorer people out because he's like right. he's a stand-up guy mm-hmm. but at the same time he's like how does he justify running drugs for these drug cartels exactly You're like, but he's a decorated world war ii veteran how does he not realize that's wrong but then he's kind of mm-hmm. justifying it by saying well no one's really getting hurt he's not killing anybody mm-hmm. it's like you know if you buy drugs that's your own thing yeah so i kind of see him justifying it yeah but i'm just and like the emotion you yeah. felt for the character. You're like, oh, yeah. It's you're like, like he's a nice guy. You're like, oh, he's kind of a cool dude. Yeah, it is one of those things. Like, you know, you look at it in plain terms, like black and white. It's just like, right. all right. Yeah. I mean, I, either way, I look at it. I'm just like, you got caught, and I'm like, oh well, yeah, you, you messed up big yep. time here. Um, but I still was like, damn. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, yeah. It, it is one of those moments where it's just like, yeah, you should not be out here. You know, running drugs for the cartel right. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You should not be no. doing that. But 
damn, you got caught. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, you, you almost want him to get away yeah. and like just kind of retire. Yeah, like, or just like stop. Stop doing it. Yeah, yeah just go, like, oh, I'm, I'm too old. I can't do it anymore. Yeah. And I think the guys have been like, yeah, okay. You know, they wouldn't have gone, we're going to kill you. They yeah. wouldn't have just said, hey, you, you're right. You know, you're, you're too old. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they probably would have said, yeah. Okay, yeah. You know, I mean, given in the context of that film, of they kind of liked him and mm-hmm. they, he did really well and they mm-hmm. like made a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Again, illegal, bad yeah. stuff. I get it. Yeah. But at the same time, you really liked him and you didn't really hold it against him that he was doing that because he was doing it mm-hmm. not for nefarious personal reasons, gain yeah. so much as in, you know, he was trying to get his house back. He mm-hmm. was trying to get his farm back. He was trying to reconnect with his kids. And he thought that was, that he was thought the, that was the only his way, way he because he was so old that he couldn't do anything else. Right. He could drive a truck and that's about all he could do. Right. And um, it was just. It was just a matter of it's like, oh, this is this is the way I have to do it because it's the way. Like I said, he's he's so ingrained into right. this. When his family just like, we just want you, man. <laughs> and right. We don't care if you're rich or broke mm-hmm. or whatever. It's just like we just we just want you. Mm-hmm. You know, we wanted you to be around. We wanted you to be around right. for the weddings, the graduations, and stuff like that. And, that's, you know? and that, I think that's the real mm-hmm. lesson. You go like, mm-hmm. hey, be there for your family. Mm-hmm. They don't really necessarily want. I mean, sure, provide for them. Yeah. But they don't necessarily want exorbitance about the money and, mm-hmm. and sacrifice of yourself. Exactly. You know, there has to be a kind of balance of how often do I work compared to how often am I there to actually be there? Mm-hmm. Not just exist, but actually be there. Right. In those important birthdays and weddings it, and whatever. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, that's like, let's say that's one of the things I really. I really liked as like how they they really dived into this character and what mm-hmm. kind of makes him tick in that regard and just seeing that you know this was his and a lot of people go through this it's just like oh these people out here are just like yeah because you're giving them money and you're giving them products that they want they're going to treat you like you know you're the best thing ever because that's the facade but your family is going to treat you like the best thing ever sometimes. And they're not going to treat you like the best thing ever at, at times or whatever. They're going to get mad at you. They're going to, you know, they're going to say things that are going to be hurtful to you and stuff like that. They're, But they're also going to say things that are loving to you, you know. So, like, mm-hmm. it's one of those, like, take the good with the bad kind of thing. And just how you get so much agulation out, outside of the family where you're at, you're, you might be struggling or some days you, you want to gravitate more towards the agulation, but I'm just like, that's not real. Cause you see what happened when you weren't providing money or anything anymore. Where was everybody else? They're gone. <laughs> Your family's still here. Yep. You know, like they, they may be pissed at you, but I'm like, they're still here, mm-hmm. you know? So, so it was one of those things like it was a lesson learned for him yep. and everything to try to get over that. And I was like, man, Good job. (laughs) Good job. You know, really diving into that, just making him like this. Yeah, he's a nice guy and everything, but he also is not a perfect person and also has, even though he's 90 something years old, he still has a lot to learn, you know, and just I, I, I really, really appreciated that, you know, about the about the movie.